Today's podcast is brought to you by Quantrix Modeler Introductory Training, teaching the fundamental foundation that you need to become a Quantrix Master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Show me, show me, show me how you do Quantrix. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I think it is absolutely fantastic that you join me again for episode number 236, Quantrix over Excel. Uh, I meant that lesser program, also known as Excel. This is a head-to-head example, and it has to do with views. Sorry, Quantrix followers, Quantrix loyalists, I have to show you this lesser program just because I want to demonstrate the power of Quantrix over it. Let's say that I have a tab of data here, uh, and it is a bunch of orders. And I wanted to go ahead and I wanted to filter on these orders and let's say I wanted to see first class orders. What I could do in that lesser program known as Excel is I can go in here and I can apply some filters and let's say I want to see everything first class, right? Well what happens if I want to see side by side things, side by side this data set? I want to see those things that are second class but I want to have them on a different view. How do you do that within Excel? One thought I had was I could go up here to um, view uh, new window and what happens is in Excel that creates a new window of my data set so again I have the same tab visible to me on this screen and you can see that I have it's called kind of view one here and then this is view two but can I go ahead and apply different filters to view two and say well I want to see second class on this one and I want to see first class over here uh, the answer is no. Whatever change I make over here is reflected over here. What about formatting? Let's say I wanted to format these views maybe for a cer certain user and I wanted to highlight, you know, a couple of, of consumer or a couple of order IDs, let's pretend, right? If I were to go here and highlight these, well, if I wanted only say this user to see those, and, and not have them highlighted on this other view, I can't do that within Excel. It is, it is inferior. What about hiding columns? Well, in order to do that in Excel, can I hide these columns here and not have them hidden over here? Well, let's try it out. If I go over here and I hide, uh-oh, they hid over here. So how do you create these different views of your data within Excel? I don't know how you do that. I can't do it by creating new windows, but in order to do this in Quantrix, it is completely easy and it is far superior. Let's take a look. I have here the same data set. It's in a matrix called sales orders. And in order to look at this differently, like in the first example, I wanted to see anything that was, I believe it was first class as far as my ship mode goes here. What I could do is I could simply go to my sales order, click on this clear, this little insert table view, and what it does is it creates a kind of a, a, a view of the sales orders matrix. And so if I were to pull these side by side, for example, and I were to go to sales order view, and I were to filter on first class here, filter on selection, I have first class that is showing just here, but in my original data set, I still have all of the records showing. I think it's it's absolutely awesome. Let's say that I wanted to go ahead and highlight again a couple of these, I guess a couple of these records, right? And I wanted them to be highlighted here, but not over here. Well, in order to do that, I would simply need to apply some highlighting. I can go here and I highlight them. Again, the highlighting is really view or matrix matrix specific and therefore it is not showing up over here even though I've manipulated it over here. So again far superior. What about if I go ahead and I collapse some of these items right? Maybe uh, the customer number isn't important to the view. Well can I have it hidden over here and have it still be visible over here on this view? Indeed if I were to go ahead and collapse this item here is it still visible over here? It is. So I have two distinct views uh, that are two separate with separate formatting, uh, separate ramifications as far as filtering or, or highlighting. And they're independent of each other. So if I want to look at my data in different ways, I can create these views in Quantrix that allow me to do that. Whereas I cannot do that 
in that lesser program, also known as Excel, because it's a lesser program. So one more time, if I wanted to create another per view off of this sales order that's maybe even different than view one, I can go ahead and click on it and it gives me sales order view. Note that whenever I click a, a new matrix or a view, it takes the formatting and the filters that I had applied to the original matrix and it applies it to that new view. So again, that's why I have the view here of first class. But if I were to remove this filter and then I were to filter on maybe standard class, I filter on that selection. So again, I have a standard class uh, filter applied on this view. I have a first class filter applied on this view. And then if I go to sales orders, I could go here and I could filter on second class, I guess. And there you have it. It's a different filter here. It's a different filter here. And it's a different filter here. So three different views of the same data within Quantrix. How awesome is that? It is way better than that inferior program. So I hope that you'll give Quantrix a try. I absolutely love Quantrix. I was using this functionality the other day and I just saw that Quantrix again was far superior than that lesser program than Excel. And I really appreciate you uh, joining me for uh, this podcast. And if you have any questions about Quantrix, I do hope that you will reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com. I absolutely love Quantrix, and I want to make you a Quantrix master. So please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez.